let's have a look at logging into eCommunity. Your user ID is your first name dot your last name. Your password has been given to you. And if you were to forget your password, there's a link here, Forgot Your Password. By clicking on it and entering your username, the system will email you your password. So we'll log in. Click Submit. Here's the acceptable use policy. You'll get this every single time you log in. So you may want to read it the first time. Click Agree. And here's your eCommunity home page. You'll notice here the TLLP networking site. This is how you get to the site. Uh, if you were registered in multiple sites, you would see them listed here. We'll look at a few things to get us started. First off, if you haven't been to the site before, you're going to want to change your password. So here you put in your old password, the new password you would like, and then you confirm it and click save at the bottom here. Now if we want to get back to that first screen, we're going to click on my home. And now we can go into preferences. Here under appearance and accessibility, you can change the font if you have a preferred font. You can change the size if you want it bigger or smaller. Um, you can change the way the dialogues show up. You can look through here. Language and region. If you would like to change the language to Francais, you can choose to do that. If you work in a different time zone, you can always change the time zone to match where you are. Notifications. This here is how often do you want to be notified if um, one of the discussions you participate in has been added to. Uh, discussions. You can change how the discussion thread looks. And pager. Again, you can set up the sound for the pager. So pager is some notification. If somebody wants to get a hold of you and you're online, you'll notice up here a little pager icon will turn on and a beeping sound. So you can change the sound uh, to what you want. Once you've made the changes you want, you're going to click on Save. And you'll notice down here a little message that tells you that it was saved successfully. So now we can go back to my home. And again, we're going to have a look now at the profile. And here's where you can add information about yourself. Um, and this will be your user profile. You can choose to put a picture, put in your birth date, um, if you have a nickname, hometown, anything like that. You can fill in information about yourself. Now it is important to remember, however, that any information you put on here will be viewable by other members of eCommunity Ontario, the TLLP networking site. So if you don't want people having your home phone number, don't put it on here. Um, so again, this is for you to use at your discretion. And again, once you add any information, if you're done, you click save. Unless you click save, all of the work you've done will not be saved. Again, you'll see a saved successfully message. So we can go back to my home. 